Question 1. What is a P testing? Answer. A P application programming interface specifies how some software components should interact with other. In other words, it's a set of functions and procedures that allows the creation of applications which access the features or data of an application or operating system. Testing of these functions is known as a P testing. Question 2. What are the tools used for a P testing? Answer. The tools used for various API testing are SOAPV Pro Lodui Pro Alert Site API Monitoring. Question 3. What are the common tests performed on APIs? Answer. The common tests performed on APIs, verification of the API whether it is updating any data structure verify if the API does not return anything based on input conditions. Returned values from the APIs are checked. Verification of the API whether it triggers some other event or calls another API. Question 4. Mention the key difference between UI level testing and API testing. Answer. UI user interface refers to testing graphical interface such as how user interacts with the applications. Testing application elements like fonts, images, layouts etc. UI testing basically focuses on look and feel of an application, while API enables communication between two separate software systems. A software system implementing an API contains functions or subroutines that can be executed by another software software system. Question 5. Explain what is REST API? Answer. It is a set of functions to which the developers performs requests and receive responses. In REST API interaction is made via HTTP protocol REST, stands for Representational State Transfer. It is quickly becoming de facto standard for API creation. Question 6. Difference between API and unit testing? Answer. API testing. API is owned by car team. API is mostly black box testing. Full functionality of the system is considered in API testing as it will be used by the end user. External developers who will use your API. API tests are often run after the build is ready and authors do not have access to the source code. Unit testing. Unit testing is owned by development team. Unit testing is white box testing. Unit testing is done to verify whether each unit in isolation performs as expected or not for each of their module. The developers are expected to build unit tests for each of their code modules and have to ensure that each module pass unit test before the code is included in a build. Question 7. How to test a piece? Answer. To test the APIs you should follow the following steps. Select the suite in which you want to add the API test case. Choose test development mode. Develop test cases for the desired API methods. Configure application control parameters. Configure test conditions. Configure method validation. Execute API test view. Test reports. Filter API test cases. Sequence API test cases. Question 8. Mention what the main areas to be taken in consideration while writing a P document. Answer. The key area to be considered when writing a P documents are source of the content document plan or sketch delivery layout information required for each function in the document automatic document creation programs. Question 9. In a P document explain how to document each function. What are the tools used for documentation? Answer. Description. Small description about what a function does. Syntax. Syntax about the parameter of the code. The sequence in which they occur. Required and optional elements etc. Parameters. Functions. Parameters. Error messages. Syntax of error messages. Example code. Small snippet of code related links. Related functions. Popular tools used for API documentations are Javadoc for Java code. Doxygen for net code. Question 10. Explain a P framework. Answer. A P framework is self-explanatory. Values for test run and for holding the configurable paths. Config file is used.
Automated test cases must represent in pass table format within config file. When testing a P, it is not necessary to test each a P so the config file have some section whose all a P are activated for that specific run. Question 11. How does the API Builder work? Answer. API Builder is a PLSQL program consist of 4 SQL files. For setting API parameters and starting the process one file is responsible. Two files are created for temporary tables and master package to create the outputted code. Fourth file creates spooled output of the code into a file called output underscore script dot SQL. Question 12. Explain what is TestAPI. Answer. TestAPI is a library of utility and test APIs that enables testers and developers to create testing tools and automated tests for .NET and Win32 application. It provides a set of common test building blocks, types, data structure and algorithms. Question 13. What is input injection and what are different ways of doing it? Answer. Input injection. It is the act of simulating user input. In several ways you can simulate user input. Direct method invocation invocation using an accessibility interface simulation using low-level input simulation using a device driver simulation using a robot. Question 14. What are the main challenges of API testing? Answer. The main challenges in API testing is parameter selection parameter combination call sequencing. Question 15. What are the types of bugs will API testing finds? Answer. The types of bugs API will find missing or duplicate functionality fails to handle error conditions gracefully stress reliability security unused flags not implemented errors inconsistent error handling performance multi-threading issues improper errors.